So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse, uh, the usual weekly stuff that we usually do. I will have another video coming out. It's going to be the armor review. So I, I do apologize that I'm that I have made three videos today, but throughout the whole week, I'm just going to be covering a lot of stuff because there's a lot of stuff to go over new weapons the exotics plus how to get them a lot of stuff i'm going to be doing this week i'm actually really tired already so let's get right into it first and foremost we're going to be talking about eververse for this video i don't know how i'm going to title it it's probably going to be eververse 30th anniversary eververse or week whatever week it is or probably just combine both of them either way if you guys like the video like comment and subscribe it really does help the channel grow not only that uh, a large portion of people a large portion of people that come to my channel are not subscribed so if you can do me a favor and subscribe i really do appreciate it and if you don't like me in a month you can always unsubscribe so let's look at the eververse and then uh we'll look at the 30th and then we'll start talking about what i'm actually going to be covering so for this week we have the smudge pop bruise which this is actually a really cool shader i'm also going to be covering this in another video literally after this video is up maybe an hour or two i'll give i'll give it and then after that we'll we'll post these these armor sets because that's another video i'm going to be doing today i do apologize that i'm posting three videos in, in one day but uh this is definitely one video that i really want to make like as as fast as i can but yeah, shader is pretty cool. I actually do like it a lot. It this is the current shader that I'm currently wearing on my set. You can't see it right here, but it's definitely super cool and I highly recommend it. I think right here, I'll have I'll have it. I think I recorded it hopefully, but you do get 700 brightness, which was cool, I guess. Although, if you want to get a shader, that's all. I, mean, I, I don't want to be negative. I'm just saying it's funny that they gave us 700 considering you can only buy three shaders with that or two shaders with that. Uh, we got the Hood of the Exile projection. I'm not going to look at that. Wander's w Wagon, which I'm not the biggest fan of this. Like, it looks okay, but I wouldn't waste uh, brightness on it. A Sour Taste. I, I recommend this one. This one is funny. Uh, if you click it again, then it actually activates and you do this. So if you're salty, this is a really funny one. For the bottom stuff, we have the Spring Showers, which... Okay. The flare gun, which is literally a flare gun. <clears throat> and for the first ooh, profiteer shell, this is pretty cool. Uh, Chris, I'm not going to say that word, but man, it's a, it's a shitty looking one. Uh, immoderate splendor, which whatever. And then we have the Astro Raptor. This is actually, or Astro Raptor, whatever. I, I'm actually thinking about getting this one because I really like this skin and I don't think I have a skin for this weapon. I'm, no, I do. I just don't like the one that I currently have. This one is definitely gonna probably get picked up by me. And then obviously uh, Tetrahedron, whatever. I'm not gonna look at that. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. So for the first shader, we have Flav Flato Core, which is, you know what, hold on, hold on, give me one second. Let me change my, my set back to like how I usually have it. So that way we can actually see a good uh, representation. Where was I? Oh, wrong menu. Sorry about that, guys. So I might as well show you guys how it looks uh, if it ever loads in this one right here. So it looks really cool. Don't get me wrong. I be aware that the orange here orange here yellow here yellow here yellow here blue here and then the blue here do not change color i'm using a lot of pieces that don't change color but when i use use my usual uh shader it looks really cool but you get a black and blue which is really cool uh and it's not like a really dark blue either it's like a really like not light blue but it's just blue in general so i really do like that blue uh for the shaders, we have flat feet, flat, whatever that shit is called. It's okay. I'm definitely not a big fan of yellow and green. Also, I apologize if you guys can hear the fan, but it, I live in Florida. It's hard as dick out here, so you, I'm, I'm sorry. So, not a big fan of this. Uh, it looks really bad in my opinion. So, I mean, it, if it's, it's up to you. Not, don't remember. You can always pick and choose shaders, as in like maybe maybe i don't like everything else but i think the yellow the yellow and green on the cloak look really cool and i want to combine it with another thing you can definitely do that so just be aware that you could always do that uh calco's finery which 
It looks very boring in my opinion, but I would still pick it up. Uh, Atmospheric Glow. This is a really good, good shader because if you want to get that really dark green, this is definitely a good shader to do it. Although, as you guys can see, there is a bright green, so you will have to, like, handle that. If you want to do, like, just an all green, there's definitely pieces that will do that for you. So you, just, you just have to look for it. And Burnish Reed, I'm just going to buy it. Uh, let's see. Yo, this looks pretty fire, not gonna lie. I love, I love the bronze, almost chrome bronze or like orange bronze. Either way, I love the color, it's super cool. Um, I love that the green on the plate is not overbearing as well. It's very complimentary to the chrome. This is cool, this is definitely cool. I'm happy I picked it up. Definitely gonna try to do some uh, armor sets with this shader. And that's pretty much it for Eververse, uh, the stuff you can buy t this week. As for stuff you can buy, like just in general, you have the 30th anniversary street pack, which, or starter pack, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I've never been a big fan of those. Uh, birthday blade, which is pretty cool. The all four barrels, which is also pretty cool. And then sidearm smackdown. That almost looks like a Halo themed thing, but I'm not a big Halo fan, so you guys would have to tell me. The wrong hands for the hunter, which looks pretty cool. The Leering Marrow, which looks fucking terrifying. Look at that blink, bro. Super creepy. Then, uh, I'm not even going to try to say that name, but apparently this is Halo themed. It looks pretty cool, but I I just think the regular Halo, or the regular Gallahorn skin just looks amazing. Spark from Bone, which looks pretty cool. The Pink Mist, which looks super dope. The Poison Wing Spread, which looks so basic. I don't know what it is. Like, it looks cool, but also at the same time basic. I don't know what it is. And then we have, I think, more skins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Stagecoach, which looks pretty cool. The You Think You're Big Time, which I don't get the reference, but I think this is fine. I definitely wouldn't pick this up. The Cedar and Ash, which look pretty cool. I like the snake here, but I don't know if I like enough to, like, actually get it. And Dead Man's Revenge, which actually looks super fucking cool. I'm pretty sure this is a, this also is a Halo themed gun. But I might be wrong. And then emotes are emotes. I never really go through them. But, ooh, per. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, over. Oh wait, hold on. Let's go to the Titan and Warlock actually, so I can show you that. <laughs> My bad. And for the Titans, we have a Curious of the Fallen Star ornament. Okay. And it looks pretty bitchin'. I'm not even gonna lie. This is... The only unfortunate part is it's very Last Wish themed, in my opinion. At least that's the vibe I'm getting from it. Uh, I don't know how it would shader, unfortunately. So hopefully it shaders really well. If it doesn't, then I mean, tough titties. But... Uh, the other one is the Path of Burning Steps, which is funny because this is uh, like the second or third ornament this bitch gets. And it looks super cool. I am actually a big fan of it. It looks super cool. I am super tempted to actually pick this up. Uh, I wish the plate over here actually went up, but whatever. Um, yeah, this looks super cool. Uh, let's go to the Warlocks. So the only thing that I'm not a big fan of is that the Warlocks got two chess pieces. I would have much preferred a chess piece and like maybe a helmet or arm ornament, but let's see. This has no business being this good. What the fuck? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this is good. I actually might pick this up. This looks really cool. Good job, Bungie. That's look that looks that's looking bitchin'. And Rosend Drone. This looks okay. It definitely looks better than the the base armor look because I just don't like it. The Mantle of Battle Harmony. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go on to stuff that items maybe become any... Oh, whatever. So let's get on to like the actual stuff I'm going to be covering. So first and foremost, I'm going to be covering the Grasp of Avarice. I've already completed it on my Hunter. Uh, Zer's Treasure Horde, I'm going to go through as well. Dares of Eternity, for sure, I'm going to go through. As for weapons, we're going to be going through a lot of stuff. I already have an IS Luna. I already have a 1,000-yard stair. I'm going to go through all the new weapons that we got this 
for this uh, DLC expansion thing, whatever you want to call it. And as for exotics, we'll be obviously we'll be going through Gallahorn. I already got it. The the Forerunner, which looks really cool. I'm actually going to I'm going through to get this one right now. And honestly, just we're just going to be going through a lot. Uh, my hunter specifically already has gotten some armor from the new dungeon, which is the thorn armor, the twisting echo set suit, which looks really cool. So this this armor set will be showcased when I'm done getting all the armor, which I don't know when that's gonna be because you can't farm this. It's probably thankfully though it's not like prophecy where it dropped uh, like weekly on one piece. Uh, I got two pieces from just one one uh, one run run, so we'll see. Definitely excited to get it for all the classes, obviously, so that way I can start doing some armor sets with it and obviously do the the uh, the review for it. That helmet looks really bad, but I did just like like I said, I just got the ornaments for for this right here. This is actually connected to the activity itself. So this is gonna also take a little bit of time. This I actually don't know, Zer Eternity. I don't know what that means. So stay tuned for all that. I'm gonna be posting a lot of shit uh, today, tomorrow, all this week essentially. So if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help the channel grow and I will see you guys later.